great to see you. I, uh, I don't know where Debbie is, but uh, this gives me a great opportunity to ask you about my next onesie. You see, I've got this one, the tiger one, and I've got a reindeer one. Oh, and of course, I've got the chicken one. But uh, I was wondering what to get next. I was thinking maybe a frog one, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Hello. Sorry, I'm having a bit of trouble with my... Hello, Johnny. Back in your onesie. Yep. Yeah. I was just wondering which one to get next, actually. Hello. Hello. Oh, Johnny, why are you... Oh. Hello. What's happened to Debbie? I, uh, I think she's having a bit of trouble with her connection. But whilst we wait, I can tell you a little bit more about onesies for adults because they're not actually a new thing, you know. They've been around since about 1800 when Victorian ladies used to wear them as more comfortable underwear. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. <clears throat> At last. It's working. Oh, glad you made it, Debbie. Johnny was just talking about ladies' underwear. Oh, really? Glad I persevered then. <clears throat> Johnny, today's theme isn't underwear. Is it onesies? Nope. It's perseverance. Oh, sticking at something, even if you find it really difficult. Like Debbie and her internet connection. Oh, yes. In the Bible, in a book called Galatians, in chapter 6 and verse 9, it says... Let us not become weary in doing good, for in the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. It's harvest time in the farms and fields around us now. But they didn't just plant the crops last week. It's taken time and care and patience and probably some difficulties to reach this point. And that's called perseverance. Yes, sometimes we try something maybe something at school, and it seems easy to us. And sometimes we try and we try and we try, but it just seems too difficult. And then maybe, eventually, we ask for help, and with a bit of perseverance, we find we can do it after all. I bet Emma Raducanu had to persevere when she was learning how to play tennis. But all that hard work has paid off because now she's the US Open tennis champion and she's only 18 years old. And she must have started playing when she was very young because she was winning competitions when she was six. Oh, and you know Albert Einstein? He couldn't read until he was seven years old, which means he must have persevered through some difficulty. Oh, and also there's Walt Disney. He had to persevere too. In his first job drawing cartoons for the Kansas City Star, they fired him because his cartoons weren't creative enough. And I can think of two good examples in the Bible of people who persevered. Let's start with the story of Nehemiah. This is Nehemiah. He worked for the king of Persia. He would taste his wine to check it wasn't poisoned. But Nehemiah wasn't from Persia. He was from Jerusalem. He'd been taken from his home when the king had taken over his city. One day, a friend who'd visited Jerusalem came and told Nehemiah that back home things were in a bit of a state. The walls that went around the city were all broken down. Nehemiah was very sad to hear that. In fact, it was so sad that he cried and then he prayed. Great and awesome God, you keep all your promises. All of us who used to live in Jerusalem haven't been very good, have we? We haven't obeyed you. I know you promised that if we come to you and say sorry, you will give us a fresh start. Please answer my prayer. Well, four months later, Nehemiah dared to ask the king if he could go back home and get the walls fixed up. Amazingly, the king said yes, and also offered to help organise some of the stuff he'd need. When Nehemiah reached Jerusalem, he took his time having a good look around and seeing all the crumbly, broken, fallen down walls and gates. He found some friends to help him 
and they got started with the work of rebuilding the walls around the city. But some people made fun of him. What do you think you're doing? But Nehemiah kept going. More and more people began to help him build each section of the wall. Still, Nehemiah was made fun of. You lot are too feeble to build those walls. I reckon if a fox jumped on that wall, it would fall down again, they shouted. Nehemiah kept praying and kept working. The mean people got even meaner and planned to attack Nehemiah's friends. They all got worried and wanted to stop. But Nehemiah reminded them that God was on their side. And eventually, after two months of very hard work, tidying up and building and checking that no one was coming to attack them and then building again, the walls were finished. Nehemiah persevered through all kinds of setbacks, didn't he? But Debbie, you said you thought of two people. So uh, who's the other one? Jesus. And he persevered all the way to the cross. He was made fun of, people didn't believe in him, they let him down and deserted him. He was hurt, he was tempted, and he was surrounded by people who didn't understand that he was God and he'd come for a very important purpose. But Jesus stayed focused. He knew his purpose was to rescue people. Jesus knew he could only rescue people by dying in their place. And he persevered to the very end. The Bible says this. Let us keep our eyes on Jesus. He did not give up because of the cross. Because of the joy that was waiting for him. He thought nothing of the disgrace of dying on the cross. And now is seated at the right hand side of God's throne. Perseverance can end in joy, like a reward or an incredible achievement. Are you struggling with persevering at something? Perhaps, perhaps it's schoolwork that's very hard, or maybe it's a hobby, something like playing an instrument. Or maybe you're struggling with something like being forgiving when somebody is upsetting you, or trying to be kind. Well, have a think about all those people that we've looked at today. The famous champion at tennis now, Emma, or that genius, Einstein, or the man who's the most famous cartoonist in the world, Disney. The chap who was trying to build his wall, Nehemiah, and of course, Jesus. I'm so glad that Jesus persevered and he never gave up on me. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for the story of Nehemiah and how he persevered in building his wall. And Lord, we pray for all the times when we find things difficult. Help us by your Holy Spirit to persevere, to keep on going, to try our very best. And Lord, we thank you for that ultimate example in perseverance. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you that he persevered all the way to the cross because he had the joy of knowing that one day we could be friends with him. Thank you, Lord. Amen.